All right, what do the stock market and real estate have in common? According to some uh, experts and authorities, both are in for a correction. You know, we've been covering the volatility of the stock market. What about our housing market? Uh, Wink News real estate expert Denny Grimes is here with us this morning from Denny Grimes and Company to talk about this. When we say correction, I think a lot of homeowners are going to get nervous. What does that mean? Yeah, if you haven't walked out and picked up the newspaper yet, don't. <laughs> I just got back from a, a, a real estate conference and 10,000 people were there and one of my opinion, one of the opinion leaders, somebody I really respect, got up and said there's going to be a shift happening in the market. We might feel that shift as soon as six months, we'll certainly be in it in the next 24 months. Now he made this prediction last week before the stock market lost all its points. Mm. And so I say, like, I just got off the, the ramen noodles like six months ago, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, another shift. But he's not talking about that. And I've got some, some points to share about how the market's going to correct itself. And the stock market may have something to do with it. What kind of shift is this? Then? If this is a correction in terms of prices, do we worry about it? Or is it good for us? Does it even affect us? Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Um, the, the bottom line is nationally we've had about a 4% increase so historically uh -huh. and the market can sustain that. However, since the market recovered since 2011, we've seen almost double that, 7% price growth. Last year, almost doubled again, almost a 14% price growth across the country. Oh, wow. And so people are out there saying and ding dong, the witch is dead and think it's going to continue. It cannot sustain itself like that. That's not going to happen. So we're going to see a shift. We're going to see the prices start to slow. In fact, the, the second point is that there, there has been a positive correlation between stock values and real estate values since 2006. And so there's that perceived connection. And now that the, the stock market is making a little bit of a correction, it's taking a little wind out of the sale from buyers. And buyers will be a little bit more uh, moody about wanting to move forward. And the bottom line for us in our market is, is now may be the best time for sellers to sell. Hmm. Because the best time for sellers to sell is when there's low inventory, which is now, and yes. when buyers think that prices will be worth more tomorrow. Does that exist? Maybe, but not as strong as it did a week ago. And this shift is to get us back to, in a sense, where we should be, right. which is about where you say we've been, where a slow and steady growth is always so much better than those big spikes. Absolutely. We'll have a healthier long-term market if we get back to a kind of a slow and steady. You know, uh, you know we were doing about 9% quarter year over year on the second quarter, which is about double what we really want. And so we're talking about the national picture. We talked about how the national picture is going to get better. We'll make our market better but it will be a little slower. And it's better over the long term for us if we're at this sort of sustainable growth rate. Yes, absolutely. All right, Danny, thanks for coming in. Wake News this morning. We'll be right back.